Hi, welcome to all. Again, I come with uh, some more important three and four mark videos, four mark questions. In this video, uh, it's also helpful to an examination. Please keep watch. I go to first question. The causes of natural disasters like cyclone, flood, landslide, coastal erosion, and earthquake. The causes are ecological imbalance, environment pollution, modernization and urbanization, and rapid urbanization, mining and quarrying, and misuse of nature by humans. These are the major reasons for the natural disasters like cyclone, flood, landslide, coastal erosion, and earthquake. Dear students, go to the next question. What are the remedial measures of natural disaster we want to take? The remedial measures are the medical assistance and construction of temporary shelter and Ganji Kendra or rehabilitation centers and assistance from army and police and supply of food and drinking water and relocate to safe safer places. These are the measures we want to take in the time of natural disaster. Go to next question that is factor influence the location of industry. Any industry like iron steel industry, aluminium industry, or fertilizer industry, whatever the industry we want to establish, these are the major factors we need we uh, go to influence. Those are a supply of raw materials, supply of power, transport and communication facility, market facility, capital, labor, water supply, ideal climate and government policy. So these are the major factors in place on location of industry. Go to next question. The great personality who worked for India, the contribution to the freedom struggle that is Subhash Chandra Bose, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Subhash Chandra Bose was born on January 23rd, 1897 at Qatar and he called give me blood, I will give you freedom and he rejected prestigious civil service post and he established forward black and Samajwadi party and also both called for Delhi Chalo. He escaped from house imprisonment to abroad and gone to Germany to seek help against the British and showed help of Hitler and Mussolini and he organized Indian National Army INA and seeks the help of Japan. So he was also known as Netaji. But we suspected he died in the aeroplane crash in August 18, 1945. But the Subhash Chandra Bose worked a great impact on British rule. For the next question, that is Jawaharlal Nehru. The contributions of Jawaharlal Nehru after India independence. So he was the first Prime Minister of India and he designed Indian foreign policy. So because it's known as Nehru foreign policy. And he implemented five year plans and integrated princely state with India. And implemented irrigation projects and language based reorganization of states are had. And he followed mixed economy and he is the maker of modern India and also established many industries, the industrial revolution is going on by Jawaharlal Nehru rule. For the next question, another important personality in our country that is Dr. B.R. Ambedkar who worked for the depressed classes. So he was born in April 14, 1891 and he established independent labor party and he organized Mahad and Kalaram movement and he started journals like Mukanayaka and Bahishkuta Bharata and served as the first law minister of India, the first cabinet, the president of drafting committee of Indian constitution and he established Bahishkuta Bharat organization for work for depressed classes and provides reservation for the exploits. And he was awarded Bharata Ratna posthumously in 1990. 
and known as he is also known as Dalit Surya and Madran Manu. So in the contributions of Dr. Bian Ambedkar for the depressed classes society. For the next question, the important movement, national movement, the Islam cooperation movement held in between 1920 to 1922. So Gandhi ji gave call in 1920. Many Indians supported this movement. Many lawyers sacrificed their law career and boycotting schools, colleges, and courts. The number of students entered to freedom struggle and boycotting elections. And they started national schools. Many national schools were started and boycotting all foreign goods and encouraged to use Swadeshi goods. And violence of Chauri Chaura incident held February 5, 1922. So Gandhi ji withdrew the movement on February 12, 1922. So Gandhi ji and many leaders were arrested because of they provoked people against British. So it is one of the most important movement. It's a great impact on British Empire. The next movement, another question, the Quit India movement held in 1942. The Gandhi ji called Quit India movement in 1942 against the AI. and he declared british quit india and gandhi ji gave call do or die and british arrested many national leader paved way to emergence of other leader this time jay prakash narayan took leadership of this movement and introduced the freedom struggle front and gave training to many worker and hidden spread quit india movement all over the country and native rulers worked for british and mostly did not support with india movement so british suppressed the movement with use of army so this is the one of the major movement held in india and it's also uh, set down a great impact on british administration for the next question the agitation of farmers and workers in the time of freedom struggle so the farmer education played an important role in the freedom movement and the influence from congress and marxists they opposed growing indigo in champaranya they protested against land tax and gandhi ji convinced the officials and withdraw tax and gandhi ji's influence was in champaranya and kheda movement also and farmers revolted against the british and farmers problem intermingled with freedom movement At the same time, the workers' struggles also started in 1827 at Kolkata. Jute, cotton, and railway workers' organization established, and printed printers union of Kolkata, Bombay Cotton Mills Association, and Madras Labour Union started struggle for welfare of the workers, and they support freedom struggles also. So these are the agitations of farmers and workers. in the time of freedom movement go to next question there is role of moderates in freedom struggle the moderates cutting down the military expenditures and they organized public meeting for discussion and the development of indian industries and they providing good educations and faith in the rule of british and judiciary and they appeal through prayer and request and try to bring awareness in people and they submitted memorandum to government to fulfill the demand and so they have the program for education and poverty alleviation so these are the way the moderates are work for the people so dear students these are the 10 questions are important for your examination so keep watch it is helpful to exam in four marks and three marks questions so and wait to watch next video i come soon thank you very much